This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from todaysiphone.com and welcome to this week's episode of Jailbreak Tuesday where I'll be recapping all the latest jailbreak news. Last week I told you guys about iOS Open Dev, which is a tool that assists in creating tweaks for the iPhone, and I told you guys it was going to be released within the week. It is officially out. You guys can go ahead and download it. I'll leave a link down below to the link that I found for you guys, and uh, you can check it out and see if you can uh, make anything cool with it. Now, in regards to any other major jailbreak news, guys, there is really nothing humongous going on. Um, I did want to let you know that Absinthe did receive an update, uh, though it was just for minor things. It added in some capabilities. Uh, for or compatibility rather with some other Mac computers that were otherwise left out during the initial release um, but nothing that's going to be groundbreaking or make you want to jailbreak any more than you already have or redo your jailbreak it is nothing special just a minor update with some little features added in so rather than making a very short video guys this week I'm actually going to give you guys a few tweaks to check out and uh, hopefully they'll be worth some of your guys time maybe some of you will enjoy them and keep them others will have a harsh opinion about them so uh, let me go through the list of tweaks I found. One of the newest tweaks that is out currently is actually called Music Banner. Music Banner will alert you with an iOS notification with the flip down bar, uh, just like a typical notification whenever a track change occurs. So if you're listening to your iPod, you're driving, uh, it'll alert you when the next song comes on and what it is. It also has a nice little album art picture in the top right. The notification looks nice, um, I have to tell you guys, but I did get irritated after a while noticing that every time a track change occurred that it was a notification. So it's worth checking out. Some of you guys might like it. It might fit uh, your style from when you're listening to music, but for others who listen to music all the time, it might become a nuisance. So go check it out and uh, get your own opinion. An application you guys might want to check out is called Messages to PDF. Now I know what you guys might be thinking is why would I want to have my messages in a PDF format that's kind of creepy. Um, but it can actually be a pretty useful tool if you conduct a lot of business on your phone and you need them for references purposes. You can go right back and see you know, when you sent a text message, what you said, uh, what the person said back to you. So I think that can be really useful to some people. Other people might just find it creepy. Uh, but it's worth checking out. It was pretty easy to use and simple. So it's Messages to PDF. Now back to the tweaks, uh, a tweak that I want to mention this week is called Simplexity. Now Simplexity is a, another option for multitasking on the iOS devices. Uh, one thing I do want to mention though is this is a paid tweak, so uh, it is $2.99. I know that pushes away a lot of people, um, but I do want to mention that Simplexity does offer a lot of customization uh, with the look and everything, but uh, again, I was kind of pushed away from the $2.99 price. I currently do not use it. I have used it. Um, but it is worth checking out because it is a, a viable option for multitasking and it does have one of the things that the current multitasking switcher is missing and that is a kill all apps button. Um, right inside Simplexity you can press a button and it kills everything that's in there. I found that super useful but other than that uh, the 299 price tag just kind of pushed me away even though it isn't that high. Now I don't want to go on a rant here but I did want to tell you guys about this tweak that came out called Overachiever. What it pretty much does is it fulfills any achievements inside Game Center that you didn't while you played a game. So if you didn't get all the achievements in Angry Birds, you simply press a button and it's completed uh, in Angry Birds and it will appear that you actually have done that. So it kind of completely ruins Game Center and stuff like that really bothers me because it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be competitive and you know somebody's just going to you know press overachiever and going to be the best in the world and it just takes away the fun. Kind of like when you used to play Call of Duty Zombies and uh, you know somebody would have one billion levels played and you'd be like well I got to 31 and like that used to be the all time high so I hate things that uh, ruin it for others so Overachiever really ruins it for a lot of people who like to use Game Center and the achievement system. Okay guys so wrapping up this week the tweak of the week is going to be Tiny Assistant. Tiny Assistant takes the Siri window and cuts it down a little bit Currently, uh, if you have Siri, uh, it is about one-fourth of your screen taking up when you hold down the button and it appears. Uh, with Tiny Assistant, it takes it down a little bit more than that, makes it a little bit more nicer looking. It's worth checking out. It's absolutely free. Uh, go check it out, and I personally currently use it, so Tiny Assistant is the tweak of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking to get in contact with me, you can follow me on Twitter at Homemade Geek or email me at matt at homemadegeeksquad.com. You guys have a great day, and as always, peace. Oh, shit.